what's going on. All right. Are you homosexual, bisexual, trans woman, or heterosexual? <laughs> Yo, your question, and I, I know you. I know your intentions is to to not be disrespectful. So somebody, so as somebody in the community, I will say. <laughs> somebody in what community? Uh, in the queer community, that um, okay. your approach is a bit harsh in okay. terms of your language. Okay, so let me ask you a question, because I'm here to be educated, my brother. Oh, for uh, sure, for sure. Okay, I'm here to be educated, and we're here to educate you guys as well. And of course, we all come in the spirit of, of respect. Now, when I ask people if they are lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, gendered, or heterosexual, I'm asking that. So I can understand their personal frame of reference. So, so I need you to explain to me, my brother, when I ask you, are you homosexual, bisexual, trans woman or heterosexual? Why is that considered harsh? Because that language is, is for you. I said I'm in the queer community. So. That OK, so that. so how does. And again, I want you to educate me. You're in the queer community. How does queer differ from homosexual, bisexual trans woman queer means what educate me just in the community i mean you will really have to sit out and and you ain't you're trying to talk political so i'm trying to talk politics too okay i'm just well, well tell me what it means to you to be queer because because when you say you're queer you're saying that you're not are you saying that you are or you are not homosexual bisexual or trans woman this when you say i'm not straight okay you're <laughs> not straight. straight stay with me okay because I'm, I'm learning i'm learning you're yes. not stay with me. I am. Okay, you're not straight. I got that part. You're not homosexual either, is that correct? See, see that's where it's funny because I'm sure when you say homosexual, you're talking about two cis men, right? Two two, two gay men. No, 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 no. When I say homosexual, for me, a man having romantic interactions with another man right, is right. homosexuality. No. So do no. you, so you do not, you do not have relations with other men? No, I, no, I don't. Okay, so you're not no, homosexual. I, so which automatically means you can't be bisexual, right? Because if you don't have uh, relations with men, you're not bisexual either. You're not a trans woman. So help, quit. Help me out, my brother. You see me trying to get some clarity from you. What does queer mean? Know. That means your sex is what? What do you do? What is queer? We trying to I learn from y'all now. Y'all can't call. Y'all can't get upset at us. And we trying to understand you. What is queer? Yeah, so you're trying to understand, right? Queer, understand yes. What, what do does queer? You said you're queer. Right. What does... You're trying to understand what I do in the bedroom or what my political ideology is? Both. What does queer mean? Sexually, what is a queer? So, I would like to so know queer. that. And politically, where do you stand? So queer by definition means weird and has been, you know, reclaimed to an extent politically um, and socially and culturally by the quote unquote non-heterosexual community. Because there's lots of labels and ways in which people identify. It's not very stringent as the quote unquote LGBTQ alphabet. But queer just means um, pretty much you know, outside of the norms, outside of the stringent okay. uh, relations. So I got, so does, so, 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 talking about outside of that. Okay, question for you. So you could be, you could engage in homosexual relations as a queer person, correct? Sure. Okay, gotcha. So queer is you're not choosing any specific, you're not choosing homosexual, you're not choosing bisexual, you're just queer. You're outside of the heterosexual dichotomy. Absolutely. I got you. That's a pretty good like intro. Okay. Now intro let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. I assumed by your voice that you were born a biological male. Was I correct in that assumption? Uh, I would I would probably stay away from assumptions. Well, I'm at Okay, okay, no. Well, what were you born? Were you born biologically a man or a woman? Um, I also would challenge this idea that those are the only two options, but we At, haven't gotten to the politics. So we, we okay, but okay, but no, we get into we going right to the politics. But let me can I get some clarity on that though, my brother? Because again, y'all cannot be hypocritical. And what I mean by that, when we're trying to understand you, now we might forever disagree, 
but I at least want to understand you. There's people who disagree with me, but I at least want them to understand me. I don't care if they disagree with me, but I want them to understand what they're disagreeing with. I don't want them disagree with me for what I really stand for, not for what you think. So when you just said you would disagree that man and woman are not the only two gender options at birth, could you give me some additional gender assignments that can occur at birth? Because I thought you yeah. can only be born a man or a woman. So how else can you come out of your mother at birth? Well, firstly, you were born a baby. Secondly, as it regards your sex, um, there are also intersex individuals who are anywhere in it is a spectrum uh -huh. <laughs> in terms of your biological or your physical makeup. Um, whether that's your uh, secondary sex characteristics, your hormonal levels, your genitalia, all of these things. I understand. Some folks are born. Theory. Some folks are born different. Were you? What were you born? Uh, okay. What were? What were you born? Uh, I was assigned female what? at birth. Okay, yeah. you were assigned female at birth. And how do yeah. you? I know you mentioned queer. Now is queer. Sexual orientation or is queer also a gender preference? Yeah. It's yeah, both. It's all, it's all of the above. It's, it's all of the above. Okay. So when you say yeah. you're queer, you're not assuming man and woman and you're not assuming any particular sexual orientation. Facts. Got you. Thank you for that education. Give me your politics, my brother. What is it that the heterosexual black community needs to understand about you in particular and the black LGBT movement in general. Give us some political positions. The first thing black people need to understand is that the experience of black people is their primary experience, period. Okay. They're, they're just like you cannot choose to be heterosexual before you choose to be black, right? If, if that is a choice you make, okay. you are seen as black before anybody knows what you got going on. Right? I agree. It's just, it, the blackness is just the experience. So I think it is, even though it may not be intended to be disrespectful, to ask somebody if they're gay first or if they are black first, it is a facetious point at this point. I don't think it's facetious, though, my brother. And the reason no, I, I mean, excuse me, my sister, just, the reason I'm saying that, and, and, and I want your response, is because a lot of black LGBTQs, they wave that flag and they only come out to protest or stand up when it involves the sexual agenda. You don't see them when it involves regular black issues. I'm not talking about all of y'all, but I don't think you can call it facetious. We cannot assume that black LGBTs feel that they are black first because I've heard black LGBTs say that, that they were not black first, that they, I've heard some say they were gay first or queer first. I've had others say that they were both. So not everybody in your community, good sister, uh, 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 assumes uh, black first. Out of out of respect, Prince. Yes. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep keep it to a strict he him pronoun on this. Stage. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. Make make things super simple. Okay. Um. And I I hear what you're saying. I would I would I would urge like people in the crowd, yourself included, to do a little bit of a digging because there are quite a few queer, homosexual, gay, whatever you want to call them. Um, leading figures in terms of black liberation politics. Oh, I agree with that. I agree with that, but don't confuse the individuals with the group, though. You you understand? That's just like saying that's just like saying you know a couple gangster rappers who don't spew misogyny in their music, or you know a couple gangster rappers who don't promote light skin supremacy. Just because you might know a couple rappers who don't use profanity in their music, the truth of the matter is the hip hop genre. You understand is 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 a very uh, skin color prejudiced community. You understand, so you can't say just because a few people are looking out for the whole black community that means the whole LGBT family is looking out for the whole black community. Do you understand where I'm coming from? I mean, I can say that for any particular demographic within the black community. I agree. Um, I agree. I agree with that. and I think you would agree with this also, particularly. Um, heterosexual black men. What about them? Um, I find I find that uh, a lot of these protests to protect black men from police brutality have been led by black women and black queer queer folk, um, and that's just being present at them. Um, I also think that it is uh, 
it, it's 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 difficult to 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 think that people are choosing their sexuality first. I mean, when people choose to ascend in terms of class to to leave that to leave the majority of black people um, and exploit the majority of black population, you're pan African, right? Yes, yes. Right, and so we understand that you know class exploitation is extremely prevalent, especially globally when it comes to black bodies, right? True, racism is worse though. Right. So, what do, what do you what do you think that the, the not the new house Negroes, but the continued house Negroes are those who are actually sitting in the house with with the white people, class class wise? Right. Okay, if they're sitting in the house with also, the white. If they're sitting in the house with the white people, the question becomes, are they advocating for us or are they simply are they? there to collaborate with the oppressor? Are they? I, I, I don't know. Who, who are we speaking of? I mean, we, I, I would say roughly, I, I don't believe that there is a middle class. So I won't even address those who are making under a million or so dollars a year. But those who have ascended past that that marker of middle class status what do you think that they do you, do you not think that most of them are lined up with the white power structure most of them are lined Absolutely. up with the white power structure so I, I, w- I would say in terms of my politic that um anti-capitalism is, pri- is primary uh in terms of protecting black people globally anti-racism queen anti-racism uh and I, I, I also you, you follow me there would be no classism without the racism white supremacy invented capitalism capitalism didn't invent white supremacy if you, let me ask you this. If you take away class, do you still have racism? Absolutely. Absolutely. So racism is the issue. In other words, let's destroy racism and its capitalist child. Okay, so I would say that, that capitalism as a mode, as a global mode, was born out of the transatlantic slave trade, was born out of white supremacist ideology, etc. Um, it is racialized capitalism. There is no separate. So when I say capitalism, I'm, I'm insinuating the inherency of racial and white supremacist ideology embedded in that um what is your position on the black lgbt community uniting with and integrating with the white lgbt community where are you on that are you an lgbtq integrationist are you a nationalist do you believe y'all should fight your own fight separate from the whites um no i'm i'm pro-black and i would i would urge you know the rest of black people to hop on that bandwagon uh to protect all black people <laughs> regardless of if okay. they are uh cis heterosexual men or any of the other bodies who are typically experiencing intercommunal violence from cis heterosexual men um but yeah, so, no, I think that the only people who are the closest that we can even get to in terms of, like, the house Negroes or the weakest links or the people who are exploiting us the most are actually uh, straight and are actually men um, because they are able to ascend in this in this patriarchal society in particular ways, whether you want to look at statistics, whether you want to look at intercommunal violence, whether you want to, I mean, whatever you want to look at. Okay, right? n- I don't think are you talking about straight black men? You're not saying straight black men are right. the culprits, are you? Culprits of what? Uh, uh, of what you just spoke of. Um, okay. Those ills. Is, the exploitation and all of that because uh, black men... So I made two different points. I said that one, uh, if we're going to talk about people who are, quote unquote, in the house, the house Negroes, right, are the people who are able to ascend most and, and, and even participate in the exploitation of Right, the quote unquote field niggas, right? And so that has to do with class. That also has to do with the fact that we live under patriarchy, right? So mm-hmm. that also has to do with the fact that you have men. But then if you also want to look at violence in our communities, right? Perpetuating violence, I am pro black. I would like to reduce slash eliminate the amount of violence experienced within black communities. And so oftentimes, intra communally, because we know violence is proximity based, uh-huh. right? Black, cis, which means you born a man and you still identify as a man. Wait, and clarify again, Z, you what was your gender assigned at birth? Well, I don't understand the relevancy of that. No, 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 because you no, no, no. You answered it early. I just want to remember because somebody said I called you queen because I thought you said your gender assigned at birth was a female. Was I was that correct? No. No, 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 I said I was queer. I said I was queer throughout this process. No, 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 no. I got the queer part, but what was your gender right, assigned right, at right. birth? Right, I was assigned female at birth. Okay, you was assigned female right. at birth. That's why I called you queen. Okay, right. so, so cause somebody on, on I'm on fan base. 
just so you know, Z, as we have the conversation, I'm on my uh, Facebook and I'm on fan base. And somebody on fan base right. said, did you call a man queen? But you was assigned the gender of female at birth. So I was appropriate. I thought they were saying I was misrepresenting. OK, go ahead. Continue. I'm sorry. You are misrepresenting, but I... I OK, so, 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 so... so, so. Language, no, 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 but no, I want to be educated, Z. No, I want to be educated, sis. When I call you queen or sister, based on the gender you was assigned at birth, is that disrespectful to you? Uh, absolutely. Okay. Why is it disrespectful to you, and what would you prefer I call you? Well, uh, you can stay away from the royals, because... <laughs> no, 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 that's just who I am. You don't have no control over that. Do you understand why I'm coming? No, 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 no. I, I want you to make sure you stay within the zone of what is eligible to be critiqued. In other words, I have black right. women who will say, don't call me queen. It's not up to them because calling black women queen is second. <laughs> stay with me. It's second nature. You, you understand? It's like I'll call a grandmother queen mother. She might say, I don't want to be called queen mother. It don't matter. I'm going to give you the title of respect, whether you like it or not. So so for you, what would. OK, getting away from the royals. Calling you sister would be disrespectful if I understand you. Correct? Yeah, if, we, if, we work in, if, we, if we work in the politics, you call me comrade. Okay, that's, but that's, comrade that's is political. Good. Comrade is political. Absolutely. What would be the appropriate gender pronoun for you? Uh, he, him. He, him is a one? That That's one? He, him. I mean, it's a pronoun. You ask for the pronoun. No, no. no. So but what I'm saying is, is he, him, one pronoun? Because that's two words. So is that a hyphen between them? Or are you giving me two options? Are you saying call call me he or call me him? Or is he, right. him, a single descriptor? You follow where I'm coming from? I mean, I, Are you yeah. putting those two together or those? <laughs> no. Okay, no, okay. Separate. Okay, yeah, okay, no, okay. Separate. So even though you was assigned female at birth, you uh, identify as he. Am I correct? Yeah, let's keep it simple. That yes. Okay, yeah. okay, I got you. I got you. I got you now. Yeah. I got you now. I got you now. Yeah. 